pull this up. Ooh, got that 11. Got the 11 one, yeah. It'll be trying to steal, right? Oh, see, you know, come on, man. What the fuck? Stand back. In front of my truck, 10 to 15 feet. Got my five marker lights up top, amber in color. They're proper mounted secure. They're not broken, cracked, or damaged. Then I'm going to move down to my hood mirrors, which are proper mounted secure, not broken, cracked, or damaged. My headlight assemblies, they consist of my low beam, high beam, left and right turner signal, four-way flashes, and marker lights, amber in color. The headlight assembly is clean and clear. It's not broken, cracked, or damaged. Moving on underneath the front of the truck, I got no puddles, no hanging wires, yeah. all right, and there's no leans. A lean can be a suspension issue, tire inflation, or that the load in the back of the trailer has shifted. All right. Then we're gonna open up the hood. As a general Just overview, all my hoses are soft and pliable. On the passenger side, the only part we worry about is the alternator. The alternator is belt driven. The belt should have no more than three quarter inches of play. My electrical lines leading up to the alternator, they're not damaged, broken, or frayed. All right, now we move on to the drive. Driver side of the vehicle. As a general overview, all my hoses are soft and pliable, not leaking. I got my coolant tank reservoir filled to the proper level. The cap is hand tight. It's PMS, proper amount of security. It's not leaking. My oil cap is hand tightened, proper amount of security, not leaking. Back here at the back of the firewall, we don't see it, but we have our air compressor and our power steering pump, which is gear driven. It's proper amount of security. It's not leaking. I have my dipstick. All right. If I need to check my oil to make sure that it's filled to the proper level, I will pull the dipstick. All right. Wipe it off. Put it back in, and then pull it back out to check it with the engine not running. I have my water pump, which is also belt driven. All right. Belt should have no more than three quarter inches of play, um, and it's proper mount secure. It's also not leaking. My power steering fluid tank reservoir is filled to the proper level. Cap hand tightened, it's not leaking. The hose is soft and pliable. All right, my steering shaft has universal joints, top and bottom, which are properly greased and lube. And the steering shaft should have no more than 10 degrees of play. All right, my steering box or gearbox, it's proper amount of security, it's not leaking. All right, three piece steering linkage consists of the pitman arm, our drag link, and our center link. They're proper mounted secure with castle nuts and cotter pins. All right, four parts of the suspension on the steer tire. We have our spring mount, our leaf spring, which has no more than 25% damage. U-bolts, proper mounted secure with nuts at the bottom. And our shock absorber with top and bottom rubber bushings, not leaking. It's proper mounted secure. The braking components. There's six braking components on the entire truck. All right. So we have our brake hose, which is soft and pliable, not leaking. Brake chamber, proper amount of secure. Our push rod and our slack adjuster are proper amount of secure. They should move no more than one inch with the brakes release. On the inside of the rim, we have our brake drum and our brake pads, no less than one quarter inch of material. All right, the tire, inner and outer sidewalls, no ABCDLs. ABCDLs are abrasions, bubbles, cracks, cuts, damage, or leaks. The tire itself is proper mounted secure to the rim. All right, for the steer tires, minimum tread depth is 430 seconds inch of tread depth. Tire inflation, 110 PSIs. These tires cannot be recapped and they cannot be regrooved. As I mentioned earlier, the tire is proper mounted secure to the rim. The rim has no crack, no illegal wells. All my lug nuts are present. There's no shininess of thread or rush trails, which will indicate any looseness. Our hub seal. It's filled to the proper level, not leaking. Our air valve stem is straight with a metal cap and there's no metal to metal contact. The valve is not leaking and it's not touching the rim. Just like here is our left turner signal, four-way flasher, and marker light. 
It's an amber in color. It's not broken, cracked, or damaged. Our door mirror is properly mounted secure. Not broken, cracked, or damaged, and the glass is clean and clear. Our steps leading up to our cab, they're properly mounted secure. They're free of any debris. There's nothing on there that's going to cause any slip going into the cab or coming out of the cab. All right, I think this door is locked. My door is probably functioning. It opens, it closes. All right, I got the weather strip around the door, no ABCDLs. All right, in the glove department, I have my six spare fuses. All right, if they're not in there, they're in the dog box with my three DOT reflective triangles. All right, I also have my fire extinguisher, which is probably mounted secure, fully charged to the green. My fuel tank is held by two metal straps with rubber linings to prevent metal to metal contact. I have my fuel cap, which is hand tightened. All right, and on the inside it has a rubber gasket to prevent metal to metal contact as well. Underneath my tank, no leaks, no ABCBLs. Coming to the rear of the tractor, I got my Constance Beauty tape or DOT reflectors. All right, white in color. They're proper mount secure. These two white lights back here are my service lights or utility lights. We use those when we're working on the catwalk at night. All right, they're clear in color, not broken, cracked, or damaged. Red line is my emergency. Blue is my service. Green is my electrical. All right, there's no leaks from the back of the tractor nor to the front of my trailer. Electrical lines and service lines, emergency line is not hanging on the catwalk. All right, the catwalk and the steps leading up to the catwalk, they're all properly mounted secure, free of any debris. My frame has no drill hole, no illegal wells. Glad hand. They have rubber gaskets on the inside to prevent any air leaks, okay? We go in on a 45 degree angle, place them in like this. They're properly mounted and secure. My mud flat, all right, splash guard, probably mounted secure, not broken, cracked, or damaged. Since I'm here, I'm gonna mention that the front of my trailer has no damage, except for this one. This was already reported and documented. My bulkhead and down the side of my trailer, there's no damage, all right? Come on in here, I have my drive shaft, which is probably mounted secure. No bends, no twists, no legal wells. I have, moving on to the suspension, I have my torque arm, can you see it? Yeah. I have my torque arm, which is properly mounted secure, no bends, no twists, no legal wells, all right? I have my leaf spring mount, which is properly mounted secure. My leaf spring, which has no more than 25% damage. The U-bolts, which are properly mounted secure. Then I have my shock absorber, with top and bottom rubber bushings, also not leaking. Right here I have my airbag with top and bottom mounting plates, also not leaking. Now I'm gonna do my tie, well, my brakes before I jump into the ties, all right? Um, I have my brake holes, which is soft and pliable. Brake chamber, proper mounted secure. Push rod and slack adjuster, which are also proper mounted security, you should move no more than one inch with the brakes release. My brake drums, no grease, no grooves. Brake pads or brake material, no less than one quarter inch of material. All right, now I'm gonna move on to my drive tires. I'll examine these set of tires and rims the same way I examine these set of tires. That way I'll no longer have to mention the tires and rims over here, but I will have to give you the brake components and the suspension components without specs. Because I'm going to give you the specs here. So I gave you the braking. Now I have to do the tires and the rims. All right. My tires are properly mounted secure to the rim. All right. Inner and outer sidewalls, no ABCDLs. Bud spaces are free of debris. These tires can be recapped, they can be regrooved. Tire inflation is 95 psi. Okay. As I mentioned, the tires are proper mounted secure to the rim. The rim has no cracks, no illegal well. All the lug nuts are present. There's no rush trails or shininess of thread, which would indicate any loosening. Axle seal, 
It's probably mounted secure, not leaking. Okay, and my valve stem is straight with the metal cap that's not touching the rim. There's no metal to metal contact. All right, um, I'm gonna just give you the components here and then I'll jump into the coupling system. All right, so the components here for the suspension, I have my leaf spring mount, leaf spring, U-bolts, shock absorber, um, an airbag, top and bottom mounting plates, and then my torque arm, all right? I'm done with that. For the brakes, I'll give you uh, brake holes, brake chamber, push rod, slack adjuster, brake drums, brake pads, or brake bonding. All right, now jumping into the coupling system. I have my apron, proper mounted secure. There's no bends and cracks, no legal wells. The kingpin is straight, it's not worn or damaged. All right, my slider fifth wheel, the top of the fifth wheel is called a skid plate. The skid plate is properly greased and lube. There's no daylight between the apron and the skid plate. All right, the slider fifth wheel consists of two locking pins. There's one here and one on the other side. The release handle is properly mounted and secured in the lock position. The slider fifth wheel sits on the platform, which is properly mounted and secured to the frame of the truck with mounting bolts, okay? You can come around here to identify or confirm that the locking jaws, which are here, are properly mounted and secured around the kingpin shank. So you're now done with the coupling system. Down the side of the trailer, I have my DOT reflective tape. Should be no less than 50% down the side of the trailer. All right, two feet apart. I have my mud flat, which has 100% DOT reflective tape. Uh, the mud flap has the proper ground clearance. You don't have to get into the inches if you don't know the proper inches from the floor up to the mud flap. You can just say that it has the proper ground clearance. It's not hanging, it's not touching the ground. All right, you ain't gotta worry about ripping it off. Come to the rear of the tractor. I got my two reflectors, which are red in color. I have a white light here, which is my reverse light. White in color, proper mount secure, not broken, cracked, or damaged. I have my two red lights back here, which have four functionalities. They're my left and right turning signal, four-way flashes, marker light, red in color, proper mount of secure, not broken, cracked, or damaged. My landing gear, it's proper mount of secure, no bends, no twists, no legal wells. Crank handle, it's proper mount of secure, stowed away in the lock position. All right, the frame of the trailer or cross members, they're all present. Uh, none of them are missing. There's no illegal wells done to them. And they're also properly mounted and secure. Come to the side of the trailer. This light has three functionalities. It's my left turn signal, four-way flasher, marker light, amber in color. When we come back here, we got our airlines. They're two inches apart. It should be 18 inches off the ground. They're also soft and pliable and not leaking. All right, slide in tandem. The release handle is in the lock position. The slide in tandem consists of four locking pins, two on each side. We have one here, and the next one here. And the other two on the other side. They're probably mounted secure in the lock position. Okay, now I'm gonna jump into the suspension. I would also like to mention that the suspension, there's only four components back here, but we mentioned the other two as if it had it, all right? So the two that, uh, the four that are back here is the torque arm. We have our torque arm, leaf spring mount, leaf spring. Should have no more than 25% damage. And our U-bolts. The other two that are not present, but we mentioned them as if they were present, which would be the shock absorber with top and bottom uh, rubber bushings to make, and also make sure that they're not broken or damaged and that shock absorber not leaking and our airbag with top and bottom mounting plates, also not leaking. All right, suspension, uh, brake components, they don't change. We have the brake hose, which is soft and pliable, not leaking. Brake chamber, uh, proper mounted secure. Push rod and slack adjuster, which should move no more than one inch with the brakes release. Um, brake pads or brake liners, uh, no less than one quarter inch of material and our brake drums, no grease, no grooves. All right, again, I'll examine these set of tires the same way I examine these. But I'll still have to give you the specs of the suspension and the braking components. But these tires, 
It was the same as the drive tires. They can't be recapped, they can't be regrouped. A minimum tread depth of 230 seconds, inch of tread depth, and 90, uh, 95 PSI for the tire inflation. Inner and outer sidewalls should have no ABCDLs, which is abrasions, bubbles, cracks, cuts, damage, or leaks. Um, inside the rim, which is called a butt spacer, all right? The rims can touch, but the tires should not. As you know, rubber to rubber friction will have a blowout. All right, so the rims can touch, but the tires should not. The tires are proper mounted secured to the rim. The rim has no cracks, no illegal wells. All the lug nuts are present. There's no shininess of thread or rust trails, which will indicate any looseness. Hub seal, proper mount secured. Should be filled to the proper level, not leaking. If you notice early on the steering tire, which is the very front, I mentioned that there's a hub seal there, our two drive tires, they have axles, and then our two tandems have hubs. So it's hub, axle, axle, hub, hub. All right, so I gave you the brakes, I gave you the suspension, I gave you the tires on this set. Now I'll give you the suspension and brakes over here without mentioning the specs, all right? So for the suspension, we have our leaf spring mount, okay? Torque arm, shock of uh, leaf spring, U-bolts, if it was present, we would mention the shock absorber, the top and bottom rubber bushings, not leaking, and our airbags with top and bottom mounting plates, also not leaking. The brake components doesn't change. It's still the same six brakes components, which is your brake hose, soft and pliable, brake chamber, proper mount secure, push rod, slack adjuster, which should move no more than one inch uh, with the brakes release, our brake drums, no grease, no grooves, brake pads no less than one quarter inch of material all right i threw some specs in there just to keep reminding you of those specs all right mud flat proper metal secure proper ground clearance all right in this area here if this trailer was equipped with it it would have an abs light which would be present here or here amber in color it should not be broken cracked or damaged this red light here has one functionality it is just a marker light Red in color, and I broke the crack the damage. Let's move to the red of trail. We got our three marker lights up there, red in color. Proper matter security, and I broke the crack the damage, and should be operating um, correctly. We got a continuity tape or DOT reflective tape, white in color. All right, this trail is not equipped with hinges, it has cables. So, all you can mention about the cables is that it has the proper tension meaning that it can support the doors, all right? It's that proper tension. It's that proper tension, it's proper to function. Our door handles, proper mount secure in the lock position. I have 100% DO2 reflective tape at the rear of the trailer and along the ICC bar. Just like here, it's a left turning signal, four-way flasher, and a marker light. The inner one is only a brake light and a marker light. Same thing here. Brake light, marker light. Right turn the signal, four-way flasher, marker light. Alright. ICC bar has 100% DOT reflective tape. There's no bends or twists or illegal wells on it. When you get to the right side of the tractor and trailer, you mentioned that I'll examine this entire side the same way I did this side, with the exception of, as you mentioned that. You no longer have to go all over these specs again as we did on the left side of the vehicle. You can go to the other parts that we had to mention. So the only thing we have to mention over here that our exhaust is proper mounted secure. All right, it's free of any black soot. Black soot, which will indicate an exhaust leak. All right and our curbside mirror. Our curbside mirror is very important, as I mentioned to y'all in the classroom the other day. All right, they let you know what's going on in this blind spot right here. All right, you've got a clear shot of what's going on down here. All right, if you're tracking your trailer straight and the vehicle happens to end up under here, or the vehicle ends up under here, or the vehicle ends up under here, or here, as I mentioned, we don't care if the person is deceased or not. We want to 
going to jump out. We're going to take our pictures from the very front of the tractor. We're going to come to the side, take a picture, and then we're going to go to the rear and take a picture, which will show this line that divided us and the traffic in the opposing lane when this individual crossed over the line. And this is how they ended up on the hill. It's called uh, a non, uh, non-preventable accident. There's nothing you can do about that, all right? And with that ending, that's how I would like to conclude my pre-trip. Now I've done it over with the pre-trip.